COVID-19, COVID-19, COVID-19. I'm sure you are sick of this topic, right? But do you know there's another pandemic, one that has much worse consequences? That is racism. But before you click away, I'm not here to talk about the law or about who does or who doesn't belong. COVID-19 is a simple virus. It jumps from host to host, reproducing itself regardless of age, gender or the colour of your skin. But we humans, we are much more complex. We value some people more than others. Simply defined, racism is seeing one as superior or inferior to another on the basis of race. Recently, Abdul was denied candidacy for this year's elections, allegedly because of his race. He's among a half dozen candidates who have been rejected, all of them Muslim Rohingya. The Rohingya issue has become so divisive that even mentioning the word may cause a stir. There have also been reports of Burmese being discriminated against, especially in ethnic areas of the country. Everyone says that racism is bad, but if we're all honest with ourselves, it still exists. Sadly, no one is immune to this. So how did we get here? Let's start from the beginning. Following the British arrival, ethnographers surveyed the land and put people into different groups, or what we know today as races. Even though they found that communities were transient and fluid, they chose to make divisions along racial lines. Myanmar today is the result of that, with entire states, political parties and armed groups founded along racial lines. Left alone, racism will only grow. History can show us many grave facts, during the Holocaust, 6 million Jews were killed. Millions of South Africans suffered under the apartheid regime. Even toddlers can catch racism. In the 1940s, the famous doll test was conducted. Which doll is the bad doll? Science tells us that there is no specific gene that can determine a person's race. Recently, there has been a piece of good news. Following the tragic death of George Floyd, one dictionary has recently changed the definition of racism to include systematic oppression. What's the big deal, you may ask? Systematic oppression is like giving a rigged deck of cards to an entire group of people. Even if no individual is racist, everyone plays by the rules. The game is still unfair. There is a huge difference between tradition and privilege, between celebrating heritage and mutual disdain. We may look different, speak different languages, or even come from different countries, but we are all human beings the same. This is a timely reminder that together, we can overcome more than just COVID-19. It all starts with awareness, understanding that there's a lot of room for change, and speaking up about it. Because if we don't get comfortable with talking about the uncomfortable, we might soon start feeling the uncomfortable consequences. Before pointing fingers at others, take a hard look at yourself and ask, how can I be better? I have done that and will continue to do so. Remember to stay safe and stay united. Chase with Timbade.